Hey guys, welcome back. Today I thought we'd head out to the local park and just compare some signals on the uh, MindLab CTX 3030, the Equinox 800, the Nocta Macro Simplex, and the XP Deus. Now I won't be trying to prove that any one of these machines is better than the other. I think they all have their own strengths and weaknesses. And uh, we may talk more about that at the end of the video, but basically this is for anyone who may be thinking about upgrading to one of these machines. I wanna give you an idea of the sights and sounds that you can expect to see and hear on uh, various targets out in the field. So keep that in mind. And with that said, off we go. Okay, here we are at the first target. Uh, I located this one with a CTX, so I'll let you hear it on this one first. Uh, it is a little bit windy today, so hopefully that don't interfere with the video too much. But anyway, I will show you the settings, but I'm not gonna bother changing them, trying to make the targets come in any better. I'm just gonna run it how I normally run it. And with this one, I'm running 50 tones conductive. I'm running with deep on and fast off. And the pattern accepts everything from nickels on up. I don't know if you can see that there. Now I'm gonna noise cancel and ground balance each machine off camera just to save a little bit of time. But here we go with the first target. That's a 1546 at five inches. 1146 at five inches. 11.46 notice that if I circle around the target, the signal disappears. So that could be either uh, maybe a coin with some iron in the hole with it, or it could just be, could just be falsing iron. 0145, six inches. 0.145, It's pretty good right there. 17.45 at five inches. Okay, here we are at the same target with the Equinox 800. I'm running it in part two. I've got the sensitivity set at 23, uh, recovery speed set at six, and I'm accepting everything from nickels on up. It's uh, 29 and showing four arrows on the depth. Jumping around a little bit between 20 and 30. Just like the 30-30, uh, as we start to move around the target, we lose the signal a little bit. And it starts to come back again right there. And sounds best in that position right there, which we started in. All right, that was the Equinox 800. Okay, here we are at the same target, this time with a simplex, running in park mode, accepting everything from nickels on up, and you can see where I've got the sensitivity there, which is about equal with the other machines. Not quite all the way, but close. All right, here we go. Okay, no ID whatsoever. Simplex gets a little better tone as we spin around. Still not what I would call very good. And just like the others, it gets its best signal right there and I'm starting to get an ID the ID right there of around 75. And then it jumps around and disappears. Okay, here we are with the XP Deus. I'm running in basic one with a sensitivity at 90, reactivity at 2.5, uh, discrimination around 10. Basically running this one just like it came out of the box. Here we go. 98 on the ID. 98. 
a good signal. Six, ninety-nine. Signal disappears there and comes back again there. Ninety-seven. All right, here we go. We'll dig it up and see what we got. And that one's going to be a bent nail. So it was falsing iron. Make sure there's nothing else in the hole. Okay, here's target number two. I located this one with the uh, Equinox, so I'll let you hear it on this machine first. It's a solid 20 signal. Only two arrows deep. That's bouncing between 19 and 21. That's a pretty solid signal all the way around. Okay. Okay, here we are, target number two, this time with the simplex. 65, 66. And signal. Signal remains the same all the way around. Okay, here we go, same target this time with the XP Deus. Bouncing between 83 and 86. And just like the others, this one sounds good all the way around. Okay, here we are, same target this time with the CTX 3030. 36, 4 inches. And that's a pretty repeatable signal all the way around, right in the uh, zinc penny range. Okay, let's see what we got. Yep, that's a zinc penny. Okay, here's target number three. This one was found with a simplex. Reading around to 73, 70, 62. Breaks up a little bit right there. All the way down to 31. Back up into the 60s again. 
Okay, staying in the same order, next up is the XP Deus. Eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-two, ninety-two, eighty-three, eighty-seven, eighty-nine, and the signal pretty much stays in the eighties and nineties all the way around. Next up is the CTX, 1140. Okay, last up is the Equinox. And that's from, uh, it's ranging from 18 to 23. So it's jumping around, it's jumping around from 17 to 23 on the Equinox. Okay, let's see what it is. There's our target right there. It's like a brass fitting. Okay, next target. 92. 93. 91. 92. Pretty solid all the way around. That's a 90. Okay, same target this time with a CTX. 0943 at five inches. 1044, five inches. 1043. 1343. 1043 at five inches. That's right in the uh, copper penny range. Okay, same target this time on the Equinox. 26, 23, 26, 25, pretty consistent all the way around. Okay, here we go with a simplex. Eighty-six. 87, 76, 77, and 88. Right, let's dig it up and see what it is. Is is going to be a copper penny, and it's just a memorial. Okay, guys, here's the target number two with a CTX 3030. 
and that's a 1247 at five inches. 1246, five inches. 1447, five inches. Pretty solid signal all the way around. Okay, same target on the Equinox 800. It's reading a 30. 25. 24. 34. 34. 28. So we're jumping around a little bit, but it's a good high tone. Okay, here we go, same target, this time on the simplex. No ID. No ID on that one. Still a good signal. Okay, I could probably bump that over in field mode and get an ID, but that's still a digger based on the tone alone. Okay, same target this time on the XP Deus. Ninety. Eighty-six. Ninety-seven. Ninety-five. Ninety-seven. Seventy-seven. Ninety-four. So it's jumping around a little bit on the Deus too, but still a pretty good tone. Okay, let's see what we got. Still in the hole, that's a good sign. There's our target. It'll be a ring. Like an older one. There we go. It's like an old copper or brass ring. Okay, next target with the Equinox. 24. 28. About three arrows on the depth. 31 right there. 29. All right. Okay, same target, this time with a simplex. 84. 78. 89, 86. Okay, here we go with a dais. 93, 92, 92, 95. Okay, here it is with a CTX 3030. 742 at 4 inches. 1243, 4 inches. 1144. 1344 at 4 inches. That's right in the copper peening range. Okay, let's see what we got. I 
people still find stuff out here? Yeah, they're still here. As much as this has been picked up for. There we go. Probably thinks you're hunting bones. And another copper penny. Now that one's a wheat penny. Yep. We'll get a date off of it later. Okay, next target, this time with a simplex. 85. 76. 70. 86, about three bars on the depth. Okay, same target, this time with a dais. 85. 85, 94, and 90. Okay, here we go with a CTX. 1243 at four inches. 1243, five inches. 1144, four inches. 344 at four inches. So that's another one in the copper penny range. Okay, here it is on the Equinox. 20, 29, 34, 36, 25, And 29, so it's jumping around a little bit on the Knox. Let's see what it is. go not sure what that is but that's our target who knows we'll get a look at it later Okay, on to the next target. This time we'll start with the XP Deus. Here we have a 74, 76, 77, 77, 78. Solid all the way around. Okay, same target with the CTX. 1023 1023 That's right in the uh, pool tab range Okay, here it is on the Equinox just for the heck of it. Let's see what it sounds like in field too Good Solid signal 17 18 14, 12, 17, 16. OK, 
Okay, here it is on the simplex. This time we'll see what it sounds like in field mode. 51, 43, 44, 51, and 41. I have noticed that it IDs a little bit deeper in field mode than park mode. And the CTX was right. It is a pull tab. So that was a quick look at all four of these machines on various targets. Uh, they're all considered to be multi-purpose detectors, but like I said before, I, I think each one of them has their own strengths and weaknesses. The CTX 3030 is what I would consider to be an excellent coin shooting machine. And the reason for that is it has the most accurate target ID of the bunch. And it also has a solid depth meter. It uh, just gives you a lot of information about the target pre-dig. So if you want to do some selective digging, it's a good choice. Uh, it also has something else on board called Target Trace, which can actually show you when there's multiple targets up under the coil. So uh, as far as negatives with this machine, I hear a lot of people complain about the weight. And it is heavier than the others, but it, it balances really well, so it doesn't really bother me. I can swing it all day with no problem. Uh, the other thing is when you're hunting thick iron or trash, you, you, it requires a slower sweep speed. But other than that, it's an excellent detector and it's the one that I actually use the most. I use the Equinox 800 as a special purpose detector. I use it for picking out good targets from really trashy areas or sites that have been hunted really hard in the past. And I keep a little six inch coil on there all the time. Uh, it's a true simultaneous multi-frequency machine, which means you can hunt high conductors and tiny low conductors, and it'll hit them both equally well. The few things that people complain about with this detector would be the compressed ID scale, and uh, the depth meter leaves a lot to be desired. The only other issue I've had with it is the stock shaft developed a little bit of wobble, which I've solved by replacing it with a plugger shaft. But other than that, it's an excellent all-purpose machine. Next up is the Nocta Macro Simplex, which is what some people might call a budget or entry level detector. Uh, but it's really, it really offers a lot of bang for the buck. It was $254, it's waterproof. It runs at 12 kilohertz, which is good for coins, jewelry, and relics. And you really get a lot of features for your money. Depth is good, recovery speed is good. The only thing I've really heard people complain about is the buttons are a little bit stiff. And the one thing that I'm not wild about is how the menu times out and takes you back to the default screen if you don't make your selection quick enough. Other than that, awesome machine. Finally, the XP Deus, which is what I consider to be a great relic hunting detector. It's good for scouting since you can collapse it down to a really small package. You can fit it in a backpack. Excellent recovery speed and the tones really give you a lot of information about the target. The only complaint I've heard about this one is the learning curve's a little bit steeper on it. So there you have it, guys. Let me know down in the comments if you own one of these detectors. Tell me what you like about it, what you don't like about it. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting, and I'll see you next time.